Okay, let's see the example two. Okay, example two now is a VT graph. Okay, now they say about based on the linear motion of the car driven by the inject car sim, he drive his car at the speed 30, starting with 30. Okay, and apply the brake when you see the obstruction on the road. Now the VT graph they show here and sketch. Ah, they want you to sketch two graph. One is a ST, one is a AT graph. Okay, so that means you need to find area under the graph. You also need to find about the uh, gradient of the graph. Okay, now you're going to see the solutions. Okay, we determine first, uh, displacement is the area under the graph. This part, we're using rectangular, is it? Okay, 30 multiplied 6, 180 meters. Okay, then another part is a triangle. Triangle is a half multiplied 30 times 4. Okay, 30 10 minus 6. 10 minus 6. So 30 times 4 divided by 2, there's a 16 meter. So overall, this one is a displacement. Okay, I get it. Okay, now I need to uh, sketch about the graph. Total displacement, there's a 2 4 oh meter. Total displacement because this one is never below the graph. So we need to plus together lah. displacement or is same direction. Okay, so this one is a 2 4 oh meter. Okay, when I plot the graph, okay, you can see 0 to 6. Okay, 0 to 6. Okay, there's a flat because there's a velocity increase constant. Okay, now we do the calculation. Uh, if I want to find gradient for this graph, 180 over 6. So the answer is how many? Uh, 30 ms negative 1. So from here, 30. 30 flat until 6 seconds. So this one is a v, uh, ST graph. From the 0, you draw until 180. Then you want to find gradient 180 over 6, that's a 30. Same like the diagram that shows 30 and S negative 1. Okay, another part dropping from the 6 to 10. 6 to 10, we need to find the gradient. Okay, sorry, not gradient. Okay, you need to find it's an area under the graph. Just now we find already 60. Okay, 60. So from here, this one should be curved. Okay, because this one dropping. Okay, this one dropping means already deceleration. Okay, remember VT graph deceleration. I want to go to ST graph. How to draw? This is like this. Okay, the shape like this. So from here, we cannot count the gradient because they curve already. So we just go to curve. Okay, you start from the six second, you go to curve, curve until 10 seconds. Okay. Curve until 240 because total is 240. So from the 180, you go to curve until you go to curve to 240 meter. Then the time taken is a 10 second. Then you stop. So from here, you cannot say, oh, I need to find gradient. Suppose you cannot find the gradient. The gradient is every point also different. So from here, we don't need to draw uh, exactly the curve is how many. We just simply start from the 180 to 240, then you draw the curve. That's all. Finish. So this one is a ST graph. Get from the VT graph. Okay. So if the question asks you what's the total displacement, 240. Okay, 240. When the question asks you when 0 to 6, what is the gradient? Gradient is 30. Okay. So the velocity also is 30. So from this one graph, you also can convert become this. Okay. So this one is two graph. How we go to convert? This one hard a bit. When V T go to S T, when the curve are hard a bit because we do know how to curve. You only know two point. Then you curve by yourself. Okay. How many curve? How many anchor? We don't need to measure one. Okay. Now the second one. I want to go A T graph. Okay, this one A, this one B, yeah? Okay, AT graph. Okay, you can see the diagram here already. 
I need to find acceleration. Is it at graph? Okay, when the starting zero to six second, 30 minus 30 below, there's a flat. Okay, just now the graph like this. Drop VT. Okay, this has A, this one B. The first one is nothing. First one is no gradient, zero. Okay, second part, they got gradient, but there's a negative. 30 minus 0, 6 minus 10, I get it, negative 7.5. So from here, I need to plot the graph for the AT. I draw A, T first. Okay, when the first 0 to 6, nothing. So I draw nothing, lah. 0. Okay, and the next one, negative 7.5. Then I need to find out where is the negative 0 0.5. Then I plot from the 6 to 10. Then I put flat. Okay? So that means I get the answer from here. Zero acceleration. You also can say uh, velocity constant. Okay, it's the same thing. Eh? Then this part is a deceleration. Okay, velocity decreases. Okay, it's the same meaning. Okay, so this one is how I convert VT to ST. Another one, you find gradient, VT to AT graph. Okay, velocity time graph in the figure, they show the motion for the harsh read. Okay, A, acceleration, B, displacement at every velocity. So A, you want to find the acceleration. You tell me which part is the acceleration. And you want to find acceleration, you need to find which part. You got part uh, label uh, A, B, and C. Which part is the acceleration? Yeah, part A. Only part A is the acceleration. So C already is the deceleration. So from here, if the question want to find acceleration, so you find the part A. Okay, if they want to find the displacement, displacement you find overall. Overall displacement, how many? Then the average velocity you find displacement over the total time taken. So we go to show acceleration is the gradient of the graph. So from here, <clears throat> acceleration is this part, 2. Okay? So from here, number 2, B is a 0, nothing. Don't have any accelerations. Okay, part 3, they got acceleration, but opposite direction of the motions. So from here, there's a negative. Okay, they only got acceleration is a 8. The rest is a constant, uh, is a 0. Another one is a uh, deceleration. So this one should be the answer. For the displacement, we need to find area under the graph. Part A area under the graph is how many? Triangle. Okay, 39. You can using trapezium. Uh. Actually, you can using the whole thing. There's a trapezium. This whole thing is a trapezium. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to change first. Displacement area under the graph. A whole thing also is a trapezium, is it? Uh, the whole part is a, so we can take area under the graph half 10 plus 3. Okay, A plus B. Yeah? This one is a, a plus B. Okay, then this one is a height. So A is a 10, B is a 3. So multiply the height. The overall displacement is 39. If not, you can separate, you can say part A, part B. Part C, uh, one by one, you go to plus. After that, you go to uh, find one by one. Also can. This is an area under the graph. Okay, C, every velocity. So just now I find the total displacement. Okay, this one is don't have opposite direction. Uh. This one is all same direction. So we just put total 39 over 10 seconds. So I get 3.9 ms, negative 1. Okay, so this one is the first one. Example, they want to find ascension, displacement, error velocity from the VT. Okay, now you're going to see the second one. Interpret the VT graph and sketch. Okay, sketch again. Eh? So the first part, we go to understanding the graph. Velocity. Okay, this part is a constant. Velocity constant. This one is an acceleration. This one is a deceleration. The whole thing same direction. Okay, same direction. Okay, now we go to show displacement area under the graph. Okay. Part A. 
We get it? 100. 100 meter. Okay? Part B. Part B is a trapezium. So we get it 260. So I need to see the part 3. I show you first uh, the calculations. Okay, 160. So from here, I'm going to show the diagram is more clear. Okay? So total displacement 360. Uh, distance displacement 360. After 50 seconds, okay, 520. Okay? 30 seconds is to 360. This one means 160. This one is uh, drop desirations. So from here, we're going to show. Okay, just now I show you first part. This one is the first part, part A. 10, 100. So I find gradient, 100 over 10. There's a 10 ms, negative 1. So here, 10 ms, negative 1. Okay, if the graph is a flat, okay, if the graph is a flat, okay, this one, the first part A. Okay, if the graph is a flat, we easy to find it because there's a constant velocity, is it? Constant velocity, there's a tank. So from here, we just do velocity is a tank. Displacement, do know. Time taken also is a tank. So I know the D sure is 100. So from here, part A, we can get it. Okay, part B is a different because part B is not constant velocity. Because the velocity is changes from 10 until 16. Okay, from 10 until 16. So that means VT graph is this. ST graph, how to plot? Suppose like this increasing. So increasing, that means we cannot draw straight line. So we only know increasing. But increasing how many? Okay, we need to know. Part B, until 360 meter. Total displacement is a 360 meter. So that means we only can start from 100, draw until 360, then your shape a little bit curve up. Curve up. So this one is a 100. This one is a 360 meter. So you only curve like this. So the time taken is from the 10 second until 30 second. Okay. So from here, we cannot show any calculation for gradient. Okay. We only can curve until 360. Okay. Because you cannot get ready for gradient unless there's a constant. Okay. And the last part. Last part, remember, when the VT graph is dropped. Okay. How about the ST graph? The S3 curve is like this, up and back. So from here, we also do know the gradient. We only know up and back. Bend how many? Bend until 520. Bend until 520. So I starting from here. Just now I stop from 360. Then I bend. Then I curve until I bend to the 520. Then I stop. So this one is how many? 50 seconds. Okay, so this one is A, this one B, this one is C. Okay, remember, when the graph for VT graph go up or down, we only can bend. Okay, we no need to find any gradient. But when it just flat, uh, that means we can find out the number is how many? 100. Okay, so this one is how we go to find part to part VT graph to displacement graph. Uh, this one is hard a bit because you need to pata balik. Okay. Remember, when VT is up, ST must be curved and up. When VT is down, the, uh, uh, the ST must be curved and drop. Curve and drop. So this one is a curve and also drop. So that means you need to find out this one is how many? Lah? 5, 2, 0. Oh. So this one curve up, you need to find this one how many? Lah? 3, 6, 0. Oh. So you got two points, that means you know how to curve really. Okay, ST graph a bit hard. VT graph, I think that's okay. Then we go to AT graph. Okay, 100, 360, and the last one is a 520. This all point we need. Okay, if acceleration is quite easy because they find gradient only. So the acceleration, the first part we find the gradient is a zero because you are flat. 
Okay, zero acceleration. So another one is a 0 0.3. I guess 0 0.3. And the last one, I get negative 0 0.8. Okay, now I need to plot the graph. Sketch for the AT graph. Okay, so 0, 0 to 10. 0, so I put 0. Lah. 0 to 10. Okay, 10 to 30, there's a 0 0.3. So I put 0 0.3 flat. And the last one until negative 0 0.8. So I just draw the flat line, horizontal line. Then I continue with the vertical line. Then this one is an AT graph. Okay, AT graph is a flat one. Okay, if ST go to find VT, this one is a flat. Okay, so... If this one becomes flat, this one is nothing. Okay. If this one drop, this one already is go to the opposite direction. VT flat. AT nothing. Up. Down. So you can see when ST go to VT, actually the graph only is a flat, 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 this only. VT go to AT also same, flat, flat, flat. Okay, so that means the slowest go to the faster one, you can find the graph is only constant, constant, constant. But constant how many we do know lah, okay? When you turbulate, want to find just now the VT go to STR, you need to find curve. After that, there's a radian ah, like this. So the further one, that means the accession graph, that one is the furthest one. You can find the answer only is a flat, flat, flat. Okay, V from the ST also is a flat and flat. So that means normally the flat is a constant value. Eh? Okay, you turbulate, go to find that means you got curve ah, just now. V go to S, you go. Okay, so from here you can see this part. Calculate the accession OP, PQ, and QR. This one example three, I think from your uh, the notes. From the notes, they got example question. OP, we need to find acceleration. We only take 10 over 4. Then you get 2.5. PQ, 0. Then the QR is a negative. Yes, fine. That means you show calculations. Okay, if displacement, that's a simple, you only find area under the graph. So you want to find trapezium, the whole trapezium also can, but the problem is they want to separate OP, PQ, QR. So the OP, we find area under the graph. It is a half, 4 times 10, 20. Second one is a rectangle, 4 times 10, 40. And the last one is 10. Okay, this one is an area under the graph, there's a displacement. Uh, sorry, you need wrong. Unit is meter. Okay, we don't have any S. Okay, now describe. You can see the question. They call it describe already. Okay, they don't want you to do the calculation. They want you to describe the motion of the PQ. Okay, P to Q. S displacement. So what you can say about the motion? Motion. Uh, I want motion. So either you say velocity. Either you say accelerations. Okay, so from here, I want to ask about Wen Xuan, PQ, can you give me the motion? So from here, we only can mention constant velocity. Okay, so the motion from here, PQ, velocity constant with 2 ms negative 1. If you want to find the gradient, 8 over 4, 2. So remember, when ST is up, VT only flat. Okay, so this one is velocity constant. You also can mention zero acceleration. Now we go QR. QR Chen Yu. What's the motion for QR? Zero velocity. Zero velocity actually what's the meaning? Got move or not? No move. No move. So we can say rest. Rest. Okay, rest. That's all. Okay, and the last one, motion for RS. 
function? Velocity constant. Constant how many? 0 0.67. So that means when st graph the up, then we say gradient is a constant. So velocity also constant. Okay, if I change, now they are state the distance of the object when t equal 5 seconds. So t equal 5 seconds, that means the show. Need to show 5 seconds. What is the distance? So we straightforward can read ready lah. Because this one is a t, uh, this one is a st graph lah. st graph, that means I don't need to do any calculation. They just ask distance. So I just read lah. Distance from here, there's a 8 meter. That's all. Okay, then state the time taken when the distance of the object is a 6 meter. Okay, tebali. Now 6 meter. So you need to draw in the graph. Okay, when 6 meter was the reading. So I get it. 3 seconds. Okay, so you must very clear. Now the graph is what versus to what. Okay, for this one, we don't need to do any calculation. Only show. Okay, then you need to calculate velocity of the object between, okay, PQ. If you calculate the velocity just now, I get 2. QR is a 0. Then the RS, just now they say 0 0.67. So this one is the an answer for velocity. Okay, calculate average velocity. So average velocity, is it we need to find area under the graph over 10 seconds? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. The reason no, because this one is a displacement time. Okay. Displacement time, we don't need to find the displacement. What already is a displacement. If they say VT graph, yes. VT graph, you need to find area under the graph. So from here, 10 seconds, you tell me this one, the object, they move how long? What's the distance they move? Shella, finally they move how long? The distance is how long? 10. 10, yes. Until 10, stop already. Lah. That means they're using 10 seconds, they move 10 meters. That's all. So this one we call total displacement. That's a 10. So from here, they want to find average velocity because this one they don't have pata balik. They're still up. So same direction. So we just say total displacement is a 10. Total time also is a 10. So finally, the average velocity is a 1 ms negative 1. Okay? So we continue with the same question. Okay, sketch velocity time graph. Okay? Just now we get velocity already. Okay? 2, 0, 0 0.67. So from here, all positive, all above the graph. So the first 4 seconds. So you need to 0 to 4. Lah. Okay? You need to find. Uh, if they call you the sketch, actually you don't need to show the reading exactly. Sketch only. So you just put, okay, one line, then you label this one is a 2. That's all. Okay? Another one is a 0. So 0 is 4 until 7 is a 0. So I need to draw 4 until 7. That's a 0. Okay? And the next one is 0 0.67. So you just aga aga 0 0.67 is where? Then you put. Okay? Until 10 seconds. Then finish. So this one we call sketching for the VT graph. Okay. Then you can see this one. Uh, this one should be the last one. Okay. Describe the motion of the car. First, 4 seconds. Okay? VT graph. First, 4 seconds. So that means you then separate two parts to explain. You explain 0 to 2 first. Later, you explain 2 to 4. Okay? 0 to 2, you find it as an accelerate. Okay? Velocity increasing. B to C, velocity decreases. Or you say decelerations. Okay? So from here, the first one. After two, uh, first two seconds, the car move constant acceleration. Okay? At the first, uh, they move acceleration. After that, move with constant deceleration. So this one is what I want to explain for the four seconds. First four seconds. 
calculate the acceleration at the A, B, C, D. So this one, acceleration, there's a gradient equal acceleration. A, B, positive. 20 minus 10 over 2. C to D is a lower part. Okay, lower part, 6, negative 30. Okay, so I need to take 0 minus minus 30, then 4 minus 6. Okay, this one correct. I need to show negative 50. Okay, B, C, negative. Reason, slow down. C to D, also negative. Not because slow down, but in opposite direction. C to D actually is increasing velocity. From the 0 to 30, actually you move fast already. But you get negative. Why? Because you are opposite directions. So from here, normally we mention this one, 15 is a same direction of the motion. Same direction of the motions. So that's why they say positive for the directions. A positive for the reading, 15. But negative stand for move in opposite directions. So your motion, you keep going fast. Then this part also keep moving fast. So you are same direction of the motions. Okay? So this one is the reason. This part is... You slow down. You slow down. So that means you are opposite direction of the motion. The motion wants to fast, but you slow down. So this one we call opposite. This one we call uh, same directions. Okay, now the diagram that show with T, six seconds. Continue. Calculate the total distance of the car from the six second. Distance, never mind, all plus together. So that's a distance. So you know, find area under the graph. First part, uh, triangle, triangle for trapezium. Okay, this one is triangle, then this one also triangle. So we just plus 10 plus 30, multiply 2. Okay, divide by 2. So this one's trapezium, this one's a triangle, this one's also triangle. So the next one, I get total 40 plus 30 plus 30. That's 100 meter. Okay, so this one is a distance. Okay, the next question is a displacement. So displacement, I only minus this part. This one is a 30. This one 30. This one 40. I go to minus this one opposite. So I get the answer 40. Okay, 40 is the same direction with the positive directions. Okay, the next one is calculate average. So we get 100 over 6. 40 over 6. So I get the answer like this. Diagram to sketch again. Ah. So you see how to sketch. Ah. The first part, you find the gradient already. Find the gradient for the first part. The gradient 30 minus 10. Okay. You find the gradient. 30 minus 10 is a 20. 20 over 2, there's a 10. Okay. You find gradient. 30 minus 10 over 2, there's a 10. So I get 10. Okay. For the AT graph. Okay, next round, this one show a negative one. Okay, this one, the gradient is a 30 uh, minus 0, then 2 minus 4. So I get there's a 30 over negative 2, negative 15. Okay, negative 15 means you need to straightforward go to negative 15, bottom. Okay, then the down some more. This one is an acceleration. Huh? Don't forget, huh? I told you already, this one is acceleration. Only opposite direction. So we need to count by the acceleration part. Okay, this one, the ascension part, you find the gradient. Uh, this one is a 4, 0. This one is a 6, negative 30. Uh, we need to find the gradient. Uh, you take 0 minus minus become plus 30, 4 minus 6. Your answer got negative 1. Sure got negative uh, 15. Uh. <clears throat> uh, 30 minus 2. Okay, also negative 15. So from here in the show, up. you can see this one is the upper part. Why upper part? Because you are accelerate, but your opposite is the body. So we can say this one is the same direction of the motions. Okay? This part BC is the opposite direction of the motion. So that's why you are slowed down. Okay? So this one is a graph. You know how to plot that. Okay, then we go to last one, the question. 
Okay, this one important VT graph. You first you see the question, you must know first, ah, uh, VT graph. You must remind yourself first. Okay, if VT graph, we want to see the first one question. Name the physical quantity represented by gradient. Okay, the gradient actually is what? Um, acceleration. Yes, acceleration. So, okay, because we find so many, every time you find the, uh, you see, ah, uh, if ST graph, okay, I find gradient. Actually, it's what? It's a velocity, lah. Okay, if the VT graph, VT graph, I find gradient also. Actually, it's what? Acceleration. Suppose you find the gradient, displacement gradient is a velocity. Velocity gradient is a acceleration. That only velocity can patah balik to find displacement. There's an area under the graph. So from here, your answer is acceleration. That's all. Okay? They ask physical quantity means they want to know uh, the momentum, uh, inertia, uh, force. Uh. This one we call physical quantity. They don't want you to do the calculations. Okay, now B, state the motion of the lorry when there's a A, B. Okay, A, B. So, uh, Anchi, answer me again. A, B. What happened? A, B. Is it rest? Is it the lorry is a rest? No. Okay. So, can you tell me A, B actually what is that? Can you see flat? Flat means constant. Constant what? Move constantly. Yes. Velocity constant. Because this has a velocity graph. So, we just answer velocity constant. Or you write zero acceleration also can. Okay, determine the acceleration of the lorry B to C. Okay, B to C to find what is the acceleration. Okay, Tan Chia Yin. 40 minus 20, 1 minus 7. Is it sure got negative? Huh? Your answer? Okay, got negative? Huh? Okay, so this one is slow down. Okay, the object is slow down. Okay, remember the unit. Many of you forget the unit. Okay, D. Calculate the distance traveled by the lorry. Uh, this one I want to ask about one strain. Overall distance, how many? Uh, 老师是240. Okay, 240. Okay, so we just take uh, triangle, uh, the rectangle plus triangle, trapezium, uh, you plus all. Lah. So that's a 240. Okay, if you got 240, that means Chen Yu, they easy to do the calculation for velocity already. Okay, Chen Yi, average velocity? 26.67 ms negative 1. Okay, correct. Okay, only take 2, 4 over 9. Because this one is all positive, all direction is the same. Okay, so the last part, we need to sketch. Okay, so the first one you see A, B. A, B is no gradient. Okay, so 1. Okay, for the first one second, there's a nothing, no acceleration. Okay, now B to C. Uh, just now they do calculation already. B to C. Okay, B to C is negative 3.33. So until seven seconds. Until seven seconds. Okay, C to D also negative until nine seconds. Okay, how many gradient that we need to find out? Okay, this one coordinate is a 7 and 20. This one coordinate is a 9 and also 0. So I need to calculation 20 minus 0, 7 minus 9. So overall is 20 over negative 2. So the answer is negative 10. So I get the gradient like this. So I put the 10 here. Lah. Okay, so I just draw the line until 9 seconds. My gradient is negative. Time. So acceleration is a negative. Lah. So this part, they still slow down, not opposite direction. Slow down. Eh? So how to explain this part? This part, how to explain? Opposite direction of the motion. This one also opposite direction of the motions. That means both also deceleration. Okay, you go to find out which one you don't understand when you do the question. You can start to do the tutorial already. Okay, if you do know, that means you can PM me, 
or you want to wait until the next lesson you want to ask also okay. thank you for everyone so we'll see you for the next friday again thank okay, you thank you bye okay bye bye good night Thank you.